There we go. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back <laughs> to the South Jersey Field of Dreams Faces for Autism Dinner. I'm Jacob Hackett. Uh, as we as we continue on tonight's dinner, uh, you heard earlier from ACIT about doing what they've done over the last handful of years. Now it's time to hear for some from Let's try that again. Now it's time to hear from someone that spent uh, much of his youth volunteering his time at the South Jersey Field of Dreams High School and even prior to a little, I would imagine. Here to share his experiences with me and the rest of us tonight, please welcome ACIT baseball player graduated in the class of 2016, Matt Marmoreau. Matt, thank you for having me. Uh, no, thank you for joining me tonight. Thank you for having me. <laughs> uh, so the first question, Matt, I know it's been a while. Uh, so tell us, how did you hear about us all those many, 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 many moons ago? Well, I heard about you guys from my backyard. I can actually hear the field through my backyard. And I always wondered what that ruckus was on Saturdays and Sundays. So I went and checked it out for myself and um, stumbled upon the field of dreams. Yeah, you stumbled upon us. <laughs> and, and I mean, you were probably, as Coach Anthony told us earlier tonight, you were he said a bunch of Absecan kids were asking to volunteer there and told them about it. So, so you kind of fall under the realm of those Absecan kids, I would imagine. Yeah, that would be me. <laughs> yeah, I um, I I think I'd spoken to you about that at school one day about um, kind of how how it works, how groups can go in there. I'd seen other high schools go in there, um, and. You know, I had always lived so close. I would walk over with my dog. Um, I would go over with my grandparents, my parents um, when I was young. And as I got older, I realized that, you know, you can actually help. You can actually volunteer there, which I wasn't aware of. Um, so as I got into high school, I remember talking to you, actually, and asking you, you know, how we can get started. Um, and I had talked to a couple other people that had, had volunteered over there. I talked to Coach Anthony and and he set everything up and yeah, it was it was a great. I, I look forward to that. Those couple of days every, every year with the team going over there. Not just you, Matt. Everybody looked forward to it. Yeah. And and the kids even and so and most of you came to me and said, "Can we volunteer on our own?" And look, the word is volunteer. Yep. I mean, you come out on your own and give of your own time. I'm not telling anyone though, especially from ACID. Because as some of you know, watching this interview tonight, ACIT has given oodles back to the field over the last, I want to say, 10, 15 years at least. Great. So, Matt, next question. If, if you have, I know you have many of them probably since you're a local ad seeking uh, resident. Uh, if you have one particular memory that stand that stand, well, ever since I've co I had COVID, I had trouble talking. <laughs> ever, ever if, if you have one particular memory that stands out amongst your time at the Field of Dreams, I do. Um, I remember. In between games, um, on our first year of volunteering at the Field of Dreams, there was a home run derby. You had one swing. And um, I actually was lucky enough to get a get a good bat on the ball, and I actually ended up hitting a home run that was pitched by Scoops. Uh, so I hit one out to left center field, probably cleared the fence by about six inches, but it went over. I took my home run trot, and I still have the T-shirt that says that I hit a home run at the Field of Dreams um, over the hitter's nightmare. I still have that T-shirt somewhere. I should have worn it today. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, yep. You know, I've heard a lot of memories from people, and, I, you know, you forget 
memories like that. But yes, uh, for those of you that are watching and you've never been to the Field of Dreams, what Matt is referencing is every every year our local high schools come out to volunteer. Then when they're done volunteering as a thank you for their services, they they get to take one swing and try to hit a home run over our outfield fence. And Matt was one of the very lucky few to, hit, lucky. A, to hit a home run. And as he said, it may have only cleared the fence by six inches, but I don't care. <laughs> I had more home runs at the Field of Dreams than I did my four years at ACIT. That's probably <laughs> That's probably true. Uh, <laughs> one. <laughs> one. One. One lonely home run. And I doubt you got the ball back. <laughs> uh, I think I have that ball somewhere, too. I got to find it. <laughs> all right. Yeah, you probably do. Uh, <laughs> if you could give... If you could give anyone any advice as to why they should volunteer and give their time back to the field of dreams, what would you say? Why would you tell someone? Um, well, I just think the the whole concept of the field of dreams um, is you, you really don't understand it until you're there. Um, just how touching it is, you know, how how great of an experience, um, not only for everyone that's involved, but for everyone that's watching, um, everyone that's helping volunteer. Um, it's just so fun to watch. Um, so fun to be a part of, and it's such a great, um, just such a great time while you're there. For me, I grew up so close to the field of dreams. I've seen pretty much every iteration of it. Um, it started without any field. It was just the grass and then it became just the green turf. And now you have a, a full complex there. Um, it's pretty hard to wrap your head around how far it's come um, in such a short amount of time. Maybe we're getting old, um, but it seems like it happened overnight. Um, this switch of just, you know, every once in a while, people getting together at the field um, to now this this event and this icon in South Jersey of the South Jersey Field of Dreams. Um, you really just have to see it to understand what it's all about. And it really is a, a memory that that I'll never forget um, being a part of it um, for many years. And it's something I look forward to continuing um, being a part of. And look, and for, for you, Matt, it's because you're so close, because I'm so close. It's a memory of your childhood. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, I could I could see it from my from my bedroom window right now through the woods. I can see the field of dreams. So. It's always been close to me. It's always been, it's always been close to a lot of us, close to me. Friends, the field needs your support. Faces need your support. Right. As we go into year 20, think of all that they've done to help us and make sure that these programs are so successful, running, running well, doing well. It's all because of our volunteers and because of our supports, support system. Thank you doesn't seem to be enough for everyone that has given back their time to make sure that the dream becomes a reality. I would like to take a moment to express my gratitude for the Board of Trustees and all that they have done to ensure that we get to have fun eight weeks in the spring, four weeks in the fall. Thank you board members for what you've continued to do.